Hey guys, it's Lauren with Beadbox Bargains. Today we're going to be making a super quick and easy stretch bracelet with some fun metal bird beads. Um, it, this project is super fast and it only uses a few things. We've got wire 459, this is 0.7 millimeter stretch cord. We've got three bags, 20 pieces each, of space 1106 from the Beadbox Bargain store. We've got some jump rings. I'm using ring 122, 122 from Beadbox Bargains. We've got a cute little bird charm that is find 2002 at Beadbox Bargains. And last of all, we're using a bale bead to hide our knot, and that is space 1356. All right, so I've cut, cut about a foot of stretch cord here, and I'm just gonna start. We've got these metal beads. Um, each pack of 20 does slightly under two and a half inches. I've got a, about a seven inch wrist, so I'm using three packs and I won't use all of them. I do have kind of tiny wrists and I'm just gonna start stringing those on. And we will string on two packs and probably get about halfway through the third pack. Okay, so we're just about done stringing. And one thing to note when you are stringing is it doesn't matter whether the bird is facing to the left or the right, they're gonna spin around, but it does matter whether you string it for the top or the bottom. Just try to be consistent. I've done all mine from the bottom. And I think that's enough. All right, so now I'm going to string on my bail bead. And this is a kind of large hole bead, so we're gonna use it to hide our knot. So I'm gonna put it on first. And now I'm going to do a square knot. And so the way this works is you're gonna do the left strand over and under the right strand. And now you're gonna take your right strand and go over and then under the left strand. This works much better if you are even slightly ambidextrous. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and now I'm going to repeat that just because with stretch cord, I really like to have a sturdy knot. So we're going to go left around the right and pull tight. And now we're going to go right around the left and pull that tight as well. All right, and at this point, if you want to, you could add a drop of um, glue or clear nail polish or something on your knot just to give it a little bit of grip to hold on to but you don't have to. And now we're going to snip off the excess. I don't wanna get like right, right up to the knot because I don't wanna accidentally cut my knot. So there we go. And now I'm going to kind of guide it under my uh, center bead there so that it hides the knot for me. All right, so you've got your bail bead covering up your knot. Now it's time to attach the charm to the bail. So here's our little charm, and I've got a jump ring right here. Just going to grab the jump ring and open it. This is a tiny one. So here we go. All right. So we're going to pull that jump ring open. And now we're going to put it through the bail. And the charm and then we just have to close it back up and I like this pattern I've had good success selling it at uh, craft shows and such so I dropped my thing um, because it looks almost like vertebrae or something almost a little morbid but then you get up close and you're like it's birds and they're cute and just that sort of juxtaposition makes me a little bit happy it almost looks a little lacy when you got it on too. I'll show you in just a second. So I can never get this jump ring to close. There we are. All right. That yeah, looks good. And then when you put it on, it's this fun, 
gosh, here it's this fun sort of lacy bird pattern. And then you've got your little, little bird charm in the middle. I really like this bracelet. It's so simple and it comes together super fast, but it's honestly one of my favorites. I, I've worn it a lot of different, with a different, lot of different outfits. It's super fun for the spring. I hope you enjoyed this really brief tutorial. It's uh, just a really easy, fun design. And um, yeah, if you, if you have another design with these bird beads that you wanna send us, we'd always love to see it. You can send anything that you make to us at support at beadboxbargains.com. We always love seeing what you create with, from the store. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. We'll have more tutorials and fun videos for you soon.